It's the last night of the conventions in Denver, so we went to Invesco Field before Barack Obama's speech to see what Democrats are looking forward to in the speech and what they've thought of the convention so far. This is the super climax. This is the best convention uh, I've ever been to or heard about or seen in my life. It's high energy, level 10. It's, I think we've done it up good. I'm not just saying that because I'm from Colorado. <laughs> I suppose the excitement level is greater, but I still am not thrilled to death with all of these speeches that we've already heard this all week long, and it's just rhetoric, rhetoric, rhetoric of the same thing over and over. I think the difference today is that the community can be a part of it instead of just watching it on TV and just that um, the Obama campaign just opened it up to the community and said, come on in. I'm just looking for a dynamic speech and enclosure of who he is and what he's all about and his determination to change this nation. The world for the rest of the country is on this earth. They look up to America. And I think they ruined the image of America during the past eight years. And I think this is going to build up the image, the fabulous image. Yeah. I'm looking for a reassurance in this speech that uh, once again shows that uh, Barack Obama has the judgment, the ability, and the insight uh, to be able to put together the kind of government that we need to lead us into this, uh, into this next century. I want Barack to tell me about education and I want him to tell me about health care in particular. So Democrats are excited about their chances and really unified coming out of the convention this week. For the Wall Street Journal Digital Network, I'm Matt Rivera.